Incoming challenge from Shire. Oh man. I'm gonna go bunny all over this guy. I'm playing the bunny deck because I just made it and I want to play bunnies. So, yeah, we get to go first. Going first is better in this game. This is a great hand. Crazy good. Um, I'm keeping this. We have a Hapira, we have a Shroomshaw. This does not get better. Yes, we will proceed to my next main phase. Drop a land on the second one. Keep them guessing. So I have Curse of Oblivion. I can basically make it so he only gets one card out of his deck. Which is nice. So I'm going to wait and see what he plays. Soul Marble? Hmm. That's annoying. I haven't seen what else he has, but I know he has... blood because he's playing a blood champion so we're gonna let him keep that mainly because i want to curse of oblivion his extinction because that does really counter my deck pretty hard but we'll see shroomshot has a threshold of one so i can safely do this i'm assuming he's going to let me resolve that okay I don't think there's anything you can do, but they might have added something that I wasn't aware of. It's not an impossibility. It's just very unlikely. Alright. So what's the socket? When the troop dies, shuffle it back. Okay. There's life drain. I can take that. So I think I'm going to play Incantation of Savagery and then drop Hop Hero. And then because Incantation of Savagery is out, I'm going to drop a bunny. Oh, I have to resolve it. Bunny. Alright, so we have a bunny. Um. I'm going to skip attacking because I want to chump this guy if he attacks. Realistically, he probably won't attack with it. But. I really just want it as an option. Because I really want to sacrifice it. We'll see what he does. Okay, Life Drain Flight Steadfast. That is a good card. Unfortunately, a Hop Hero shuts it down pretty hard. Alright, he is going to attack. Okay. Going to block. No tricks. I'm just going to let them trade. Savagery's getting up there. It needs five. So I'm actually going to eat this. And I'll hit him. Get my savagery up there for next turn. Whoops. That was a mistake. Ritualist of Spring Litter and Murder. Don't mind if I do. Alright. So if you haven't noticed, Hop Hero is a removal beast. He's crazy good. And chair squeaking. But, unfortunately, I need to get a couple more cards to do this properly.
If he doesn't have an answer to hop here, though, it's it's game. Unfortunately, I had to use murder here. And it's coming up on the turn for extinction if he gets lucky. And I am out of tea. That's a disappointment. Hey, one other one of those guys. Hi, guy. What's up? And a blood bear. Blood bear, really? Hmm. Okay. Let's just drop a shroom shot. And and now it's a beastie. Um. We could drop a ritualist, but if he's getting extinction, he's getting extinction next turn. And I like the idea of if he doesn't attack, I can eat something of mine. I also like Curse of Oblivion. So, we're just going to do this. And we have him on tap, so we can kill this guy next turn. Ah, sinking. Okay, so this is a glitch in the game, um, sinking, where the game stops working properly. I did mention in the last video that this was in alpha. Um, basically, things might be screwed up right now because we got the sinking glitch. Now, what's screwed up? It kind of depends, but just in general, that things are screwed up, probably. Uh, another spear cliff. Okay, I'm fine with that. That means he does not have extinction, or he doesn't have the the idea that he's going to play extinction, or he just really wants some way to deal with my crap. Okay, so I'm actually gonna um, eat something here. And I don't really care what I hit. I'd rather not eat the Shroom Shock, because I can drop Ritualist next turn. Okay. So... I can drop Ritualist, or... I can eat Shroom Shock... And then kill some of his dudes. This one is not spell shield, it's life train. I like the killing his dudes one better. Um, now, we will do this during his turn. We'll make him do the tough work. He hasn't been using a soul marble, that's good. And the reason I want to do it during his turn is that I can actually reduce the damage his troops can deal. So we'll see what he does. He's just attacking with that, okay. Sure. Remember when I said something about a sinking glitch? That is this. When I can't do things properly. I don't know, that was... I'm dumb. Um... I think I'm just gonna go for the kill on that thing. So... He reduces his attack. Now that he's stronger, he reduces the... Defense as well. So, now we're going to kill it. Alright. And now we're going to... Any day now... Kill this. 
And now it's dead. Excellent. I'm using it again life off it, but that doesn't matter. Alright, it's our turn again. Alright, we're gonna play a Shroomshaw. We are going to do this. And kill this. He's gonna gain life off this. A little extra life than he needs to gain. But that's fine. Now he's gonna transform into the Warlord. So now instead of just uh, buffing troops, he just flat out kills them. And we're gonna swing. This card is crazy good if you have the right deck for it. This guy carries most of my games. So we're fully established. Even if he extinctions, it's not that bad. He can't even extinction. But he can murder. Okay. That's fine. We already got our momentum off that. Extinction is two blood. It's threshold. He only has one, so there's no way you can cast it. He's not attacking. Well, he's not going to chump it either, so I'm not really sure why he did that. Judging from how he's playing, my assumption is that he runs Extinction, might even have it, but isn't able to cast it. So I'm going to play conservatively here. It's my prep phase. I'm done prepping. The prep is over. Deliver unto me my card. Through this, I'm gonna play my 3DS. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so we have him on a clock. It's not really important that we play cards, and I'm worried about extinction in the event that he ever decides to get blood mana. Or shards. So I'm just gonna swing. And not do anything. We also have him on a clock, and we win the game the moment we draw a overrun, so. I'm fine with just sitting on this. Now you saw the syncing issues. Either he's being slow and not passing the turn, or there's actually a sync issue going on. Well, I'm sure you've all played Path of Exile and know about T-Sync. It's like the same thing, it just screws you over in different ways. Alright, so that last game had a little bit of an issue. It ended up actually being completely bugged up, so I went ahead, challenged the guy to a rematch. We'll get that video posted up in just a second, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to cut it off here so we don't have a 30-minute long video, and hopefully you guys can get caught up in the next one. Thanks.